Hello there, welcome to the June 2018 paper. Here we're looking at question 14. So, the circle C has equation x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 10y plus 9 equals 0. Find the coordinates of the centre C, the radius of C as well. So, here we need a bit of double factorising. So, it's x minus 3 squared minus the 9. So, that's on the x variable. And then plus y plus 5 squared. And then minus the 25 on the y variable and then we've got the plus 9 at the end equals 0. So this plus 9 and this plus 9 will cancel each other out. So let's now just move that 25 onto the other side. So it's going to be x squared plus y plus 5 squared equals 25. So therefore from this we can pull out the center of the circle. That's going to be the negative values of these two things inside the bracket. So 3 and minus 5 the radius of 5. Remember you square root this value on the end to get your radius. So therefore it's 3 and minus 5. So let's now move on to part b. Let's just make a record of that equation there. x minus 3 squared plus y plus 5 squared equals 25. Okay, the line with equation y equals kx, where k is a constant, cuts c at two distinct points. Find the range of value for k. So, um, what we're looking to do here is we're looking to substitute this equation here into this equation here, and then um, show that b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, because that's when you have two distinct intersections, when your discriminant is greater than 0. So let's substitute it in then, so it's going to be x minus 3 squared plus kx, I'm substituting the letter y with the expression kx because the two things are equal here, so kx is going to replace y, so kx plus 5 squared equals 25. We need to now expand this and get it all in terms of a quadratic, just one quadratic, so it's going to be x squared minus 6x plus 9, plus k squared x squared, plus 10kx, plus 25. That's what happens when you expand both of these square brackets here. Uh, we've got 25 on both sides here, so we'll just cancel that out and put a 0 on the right-hand side. Let's now factorise what we've got and group everything together, because we want all of our x squareds together, all of our x's together, and all of our numbers together. So for x squared, we have 1 at the start, and we have k squared uh, in this term here. Then for x, we're going to have minus 6 here, and then plus 10k here. That will all be the multiple of x. Whoops, we've got the multiple of x at the front there. And then plus 9 will be the only c term in this uh, equation here. So therefore, when we now use the discriminants, this is going to be the value for a, this is going to be the value for b, and this is going to be the value for c. Now, for when it cuts two distinct points, we want b squared minus 4ac to be greater than 0. So therefore, it's going to be the square of the b term minus 4 times a times c. And that will be greater than 0. So now we need to expand this and solve this. So it's going to be minus, no, plus 36 because it will be the negative 6 squared minus 120k plus 100k squared minus uh, 36 from the 4 and the 9 times 1. So that would be minus 36. And the 36 as well times k, that will be minus 36k squared. That's going to be greater than or equal to 0. Let's now simplify this together. 100 minus 36 is 64k squared uh, minus 120k. And then we've got 36 and minus 36, so those two things will cancel each other out. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by 8, because that you can do that on this. I'm not going to divide by k, because that will get rid of one of my solutions. But I can divide by a number. It's going to be 8k squared minus 15k is greater than or equal to zero, so it's greater than zero. Now we need to solve this, we'll solve this by factorising, 8k minus 15 is greater than zero. 
Let's now draw a quick sketch of what this graph will look like. It will have an intersection at zero from this solution here. And from this solution here, it's going to have k equals 15 over 8. So it's going to be a quadratic that looks like this with solutions at 15 over 8 and 0. So when is it greater than 0? Well, it's greater than 0 in these two regions here. So that's going to be when k is less than 0 and k is more than 15 over 8. So we've got two different regions here. They need to be separated with a little comma. k is um, less than 0 and k is greater than 15 over 8. So there we are, that's the range of values for k, that's the answer for question 14, worth 9 marks in total there. Let's now move on to the final question of the paper, question 15.